Here along the California coast, you'll find some very interesting and important tide pool specimens, such as these colorful California sea slugs, also known as sea hares, since they look like little wet rabbits. Because of the two tentacles on the top of the head that protect their eyes, and the other two around the mouth that they use to feed with. They're mollusks with an internal shell that protects their organs. And they're closely related to the nudibranch. Their differing colors reflect the colors and types of algae they consume the most. And be careful when you're handling them or they might ink on you or cover you in a thick purple goo. They actually can release two types of ink, the usual purple, but also a white milky ink containing opaline, which is a chemical that triggers predators to attack the cloud of ink instead of the sea hair. They have a simple nervous system with very large neurons that make it easy to study and manipulate. And for this reason, they're very important in the research world. Because of the structure of their simple nervous system, they are used extensively in research on topics like behavior, reproduction, and development across a wide variety of fields such as chemistry, biology, and even psychology. And good news, their numbers are increasing. They're making a comeback. Possibly because more algae blooms are providing more food. Which is wonderful news, of course. And according to biologists, this is a good indication of a healthier ocean. I saw at least five sea hares in the tiny tide pool I explored. And next time, the Curio Cat will be out searching for the most famous sea hare around these parts. The California Black Sea Hare which can weigh up to 35 pounds and might just be the world's largest gastropod. So be sure to subscribe and stay tuned to see if we ever find this legendary behemoth. Do you know any students interested in participating in science fairs, student research, or publications? Be sure to check out our Student Research Academy at thecuriocat.com.